In this tutorial, I'm going to use the same image that I used for my chainmail brush tutorial, and I'm going to show you how to use Color Dodge. There are probably a lot of other ways to do this, but this is the technique I learned, so that's what I'm going to show you. The first thing I want to do is make a duplicate of the background, so I'm going to drag it to the Create New Layer button and drop it on there, and that will create a duplicate layer. Now I'm going to select my brush and change it to Color Dodge and I'm going to select a dark color and the airbrush now I'm just going to pick out some parts on his armor that I want to add some more highlights to the reason I chose a darker color is because I want to build up the highlights if you choose a lighter color you're going to overexpose things very quickly and the reason I chose a neutral color is because if I used an actual color like orange then I would end up saturating my painting way too much and I can always go back later with the sponge tool and saturate things. You have a lot more control that way. I'm going to flip back and forth so you can see the changes that I made. When you start painting again, don't forget to change your brush back to normal. Now I'm going to show you the difference between the actual dodge tool I never use the actual dodge tool because it just tends to gray everything out. It doesn't look good. So you can see that this is graying out all the colors and it's actually making the darks gray too. Now I'm going to flip through the different versions. This is what it looks like using the actual dodge tool. This is the original painting. And this is what it looks like when you set your brush to color dodge. So as you can see, this is what you don't want. Everything's all blown out and it didn't really keep any of your original contrast. This is what the original painting looked like. And this is what it looks like changing your brush to color dodge. That's it. Thanks.